Uh, John, congratulations. Through to the next round of the FA Cups. Give us your thoughts on the on the game. Uh, I thought it was a game where we played really well. Organisation was really good. If we hadn't got something out of the game, it would have been a travesty, I thought. I thought everybody played the part. It's a great team performance, tactically. The gaffer got it spot on. And uh, obviously we're pleased to get in the next round. You would have wanted a reaction after choosing Art, and you certainly got one today, didn't you? Yeah, we certainly got a reaction. I felt the lads have been doing really well. I don't think there's been a game where we haven't played well. Uh, it's just trying to get a consistency over 90 minutes. You made some changes today. Was that just to freshen it up a little bit? Yeah, just to freshen it up. The lads who came in have, have been doing well in training and uh, they've all contributed today to a great team performance. And Milan Butterfield rolled in the winning penalty and also scored his first goal for the club at the death as well. Yeah, Milan, he's been uh, doing really well in training. He's earned the right to start the game today. Tactically, uh, he's done really well and obviously we're all pleased that he's got the winning goal and obviously he's scored the equaliser. And what do you think are the main positives to come out of today, apart from obviously advancing to the next stage? Obviously the results are positive. Uh, positive thing was everybody stuck together, stuck to the tasks, we looked really strong at the back, uh, the three lads up front they all looked a threat. Do you think they should give the lads some confidence as well going forward now? Well certainly I think uh, results breed confidence and obviously today it's a great result, we're in the next round of the FA Cup so everybody's buzzing at the moment, yes. Perhaps uh, Kyle might be a little bit disappointed with his part in Stockport's first goal, but he made up for it in the penalty shootout with a good save. Well, it's some, yeah, you can probably point the finger, but uh, he's done really well throughout the game. He's been put under a lot of pressure, we feel, by players obstructing him on corners. He doesn't get any protection from referees, so I feel sorry for him in that respect, but uh, he's obviously made a couple of saves in the penalty shootout as well. And of course you'll hope to use this into, into the league now with, with another tough game next week against Yeovil. Well there's no easy games, is there? They're all tough at the moment and uh, if, if we continue uh, with the same attitude and belief and the players have got a lot of belief in each other, we've got to take it into the next game. There are lots of good individual performances but overall it was a really good team performance, would you say? Yeah, the main thing was the team performance, you know, everybody's contributed and uh, worked really hard and they've had the just rewards with, with the penalties. And defensively, much better today as well. Yeah, I think uh, just as throughout the team everybody's contributed from the fr front to the back, you know, it's a team effort and uh, it, it, we don't just concentrate on uh, one group, it, it's a team. And just talk us through the penalties then, what was going sort of through your mind and how were the penalties decided? Did the lads choose themselves? or did... The lads chose themselves but we prepared during the week in training uh, as if we had a penalty shootout. We were all, all the players who took penalties today uh, wanted to take them, to take them during the week and uh, we were organised for it. And obviously you're through to the next round, anyone in particular that you'd like? At home draw? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a, it, obviously you would like to play at home and uh, the, the only thing missing today is obviously the supporters. You know, mm. I feel the FA Cup is fantastic, obviously for the clubs, but for the supporters, they really come alive and uh, today, for example, there will probably have been at seven or 8,000 here today, I'm sure. And, and before Milan equalised, he actually looked like he had a good shout for a penalty. Um, early on in the early on in the second half, and I think uh, pretty much everyone in the stadium thought it should have been given, apart from the the man who uh, well, who should have given it. <laughs> well, I'm glad you weren't the only one because I think the manager was uh, certain it was a penalty, and, I'm, and and we were as well. But there were a lot of decisions uh, didn't go get, go for us at certain times. And the manager spoken about perhaps not getting the rub of the green at times. Uh, so perhaps today, in the end, eventually you, it, it went for you. <laughs> yeah, well we. You can say that, but yeah, we've earned his luck today. If if we've had any luck, it's I don't think we have. I think we've uh, we've earned everything we've got today by looking solid, playing as a team, and getting the just rewards at the end. And uh, there were a few players missing from the squad today: Hayden Ollis, Joe Rowling, Regan Hutchinson. Was that down to any injuries, or was it just a case of balancing up the subs? Or it was a uh, tactical more than anything. Yeah. And has, has everyone come through the game okay today? Any knocks or bumps and bruises? Uh, the more I couldn't, I couldn't really tell you. I think so. And I haven't seen the lads uh, 
there's obviously a few. York yet knocks in every game, but nothing serious.